Hey guys, President Bola Maitinubu and the Vice President Kasim Shetima have presented compelling evidence to reflect Peter Obi's claim of being a registered member of the Labour Party to support their stand. Tinubu and Shetima submitted a copy of the Labour Party membership register for Anambra State to the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PT. PC on Wednesday. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Tribunal on fire. Tinubu Shetty might leave Nigerians in shock as they review hidden truths about Peter Obi. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the Vice President Kasimi Shetima have presented compiling evidence to refute Peter Obi's claim of being a registered member of the Labour Party to support their stand. Tunubu and Shetima submitted a copy of the Labour Party membership register for, ne for Anambra State to the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PEPC, on Wednesday. The President and the Vice President embarked on their defense in response to the petition filed by Peter Obi and the Labour Party, which challenged their victory in the February 25th presidential election, they argued that Obi, who allegedly was not a member of the party during the election, was ineligible to contest as a candidate under the Labour Party. During the tribunal proceedings held in Abuja, the legal team uh, representative, Chief Wally San, presented the membership register accompanied by a letter from the Labour Party. The letter dated April 25, 2022, was addressed to the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and served as additional supporting evidence. Tinubu and Shetima ascertained that Obi purportedly resigned from the People's Democratic Party PDP on May 26, 2022, only to join the Labour Party on May 27, 2022. They further highlighted that the Labour Party conducted its presidential primary election on May 30, 2022, during which Obi emerged as the party's candidate for the general election. The Legal Council for Tinubu and Shetima contended that, in accordance with Section 77.3 of the Electoral Acts, they were obligated to submit a comprehensive register of their party's members of INEC 30 days before their presidential primary. The requirement meant that the register should have been submitted to INEC on or before April 30, 2022. Uh, they ascertained that as of April 30, 2022, Obi, we, Obi was still a member of the PDP and his name was not included in the register of Labour Party members submitted to INEC. And these discrepancies form the cross of the agreement, asserting that Obi's candidacy was invalid due to his failure to, may, to meet the necessary membership criteria within the specific time frame. Obis legal team counsel, however, countered by claiming that he was indeed a member of the PDP when he contested the presidential election under the Labour Party, although objections was a big pardon. Obis legal team, however, countered by claiming that he was indeed a member of the Labour Party when he contested the presidential election under the Labour Party, although objections were raised by the petitioners, lawyer Levy Uzo, Uzoko San, and the court admitted the documents presented by Tunubu and Shetima as Exhibit RO A17 and RO A18. In a previous session, the tribunal had set Wednesday as a hearing date after an independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in concluded its case regarding the disputed pool. Furthermore, educational documents 
from Tunubu's time at Chicago State University were also admitted as exhibits, including his admission letter as presented by the Leeds Council, O.K. Walling. Tunubu also submitted his United States visa document and Nigeria Immigration Service, NI, uh, uh, NIS, records to reflect the allegations of criminality made against him in the petition. As the proceedings continued, both parties eagerly await the tribunal's decision, which will determine the validity of obese candidacy and potentially impact the outcome of the presidential election. Nigerians are really waiting to see what is going to be the end. As someone said, it's a great lie that one na petition, I beg, let's talk another thing, okay? When Obi wants to register, why the federal government did not reject his money? But the federal government has accepted its registration. Now you are talking is, is a lie, okay? Do you still believe these people, Nigerians? Well, by now we should have understand that Labour Party wants to be in power by fire, by force. Okay, guys, uh, what's your take on this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.